Hey everyone, I am back. This is Bernadette Robinson. Hello um, from Make It Fun NYC, where I teach you how to make your jump rope workout fun and all of them in general. Um, I'm nice and sweaty. You see here, I just finished like about an hour of cardio. So I was jumping and I was on the treadmill for about an hour. So um, I got special mentions, Fairly Dickinson University. I spent a lot of money here. Greetings from Mississippi, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's Fairly Dickinson University where I actually went to school. Um, I have on my little sock spots here. I should uh, lower this thing down some more so you can see me, so. Um, uh, okay, anyway, um, Socksbox.com, where I am sponsored and the sponsored athlete of Socksbox. And if you go to www.socksbox.com, use the discount code Make It Fun NYC, you'll get a discount on your socks. Also, here is the Buddy Lee Aerospeed High Performance Jump Rope. I'm also one of his ambassadors. So um, you can actually get ropes directly from my site at www.makeitfunnyc.com. So this is my fourth scope. Um, that I'm doing on tutorials. My first tutorial was on how to jump rope 101. So if you never ever in your life picked up a jump rope, I go everywhere from um, how to measure your jump rope to how you should stand to how you should jump. Um, so that was basically my first one. My second scope was on footwork. So different techniques that you can do to cure a jump rope boredom. Um, also, my third scope, which is not on Periscope, was on how to do crossovers, Unfortunate, but I did review that last week in my scope on Double Under, so if you go to my YouTube channel, all of my tutorials are there, and they're available for you to see. Um, so this week, I'm going to do a tutorial on SJs, and SJs, they're not really uncommon. They're actually something that boxers do, but they're, the level of intensity is not the same as the SJs. And the reason why I call them SJs is because I learned them from a boxer by the name of Stephen Johnson. He's actually no longer alive. He was a middleweight boxer. I met him in about 1999 at Equinox Gym. He used to teach boxing classes. Unfortunately, I never took his classes, but um, he did see my passion for jump rope, and he was one that helped develop my raw talent along with Michael Lodge Jr., which is also a former middleweight boxer, and he actually teaches classes at Aerospace HPC in New York City. So I do credit those two for developing my raw talent. Um, so with um, SJs, usually it's a little simple trick that boxers do. I'm actually gonna move this over to like a lower platform so that I won't be so far away from the, from the um, recording device so that you guys can see me better. And then I'll move it back to answer your questions. So, this is a little better, so I don't have to um, actually back up too much to do the jump rope trick. So let me move this because this thing is in the background now. I'm sorry guys for all of this readjusting and adjusting and readjusting. So, this is not usually my usual spot for personals. But anyway, today I'm doing the side swing combo. And um, usually, there's a technique that boxers do. If you ever watch professional boxers jump rope, they have a technique that they kind of do. Um, it's like a quick step over. If you watch Mike Tyson, if you watch Floyd Mayweather, well, actually, if you watch Floyd Mayweather, that's one of his um, favorite skills, along with other boxers. If you go to any boxer on Instagram, you'll see them doing that exact same skill. With SJs, um, the ones that I do, they look more animated, and you can never ever in your life tell what I'm doing by just watching. So, I'm gonna show you my version of a perfected SJ, okay? Oh, and to mention for those who may just be tuning in, I am four months pregnant. Um, as of now, I'm 15 weeks pregnant. Yes, it's safe for me to jump as I've been jumping before the pregnancy, so it's not something new that I'm just starting. Um, I do notice that the breathing is a little bit harder, so I'm not as conditioned as I am when I'm not pregnant. So, um, yeah, if you're pregnant now and you've never in your life jumped, don't try jumping now, but it's safe for me, okay? Anyway, so, SJs, how it looks after a lot, a lot of practice. Here it is. Okay, so, that's today's tutorial, and I'm going to break it down. I'm gonna show you the simple way 
of doing it. And once you know that in the future, you can actually learn how to do the way in which I demonstrated, which comes with a lot of practice, okay? So, to do your SJs, you start here with the rope behind you. You swing the rope to the left, you swing the rope to the right, you jump. You swing the rope to the left, you swing the rope to the right, you jump. Swing to the left, swing to the right, jump. Swing to the left, swing to the right, jump. So that thing that I just did before is just the perfected version. If you don't believe me, I'll speed up the simple way just a little bit so that you'll believe me some. So, here it is. So, it's the exact same thing. Um, with the first way that I demonstrated, it's basically, um, it's, like a, it's like an illusion because you never see what I'm doing. I'm actually turning the rope twice or side swinging it twice with one jump. But my legs are always like this. So there's a secret behind my madness, which I can definitely share actually with you at another time. But I do want you to get the basics of one, two, jump. So what if you never side swing before? So. If you want to practice side swinging, stand with the rope behind you, take your rope, you should hold it like this. Never hold it together when you're side swinging or else your rope is going to become tangled. Hold it like this. So you stand and you just swing, 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 swing. So I go from here. So instead of in front of you, you go to the side of you. Okay, and your hands, the hand that's on the outside should always stay on the outside. So if I'm swinging this way, my left hand is always outside. If I'm coming back, my right hand is always outside. So the secret to side swinging is to never ever let your hands touch because if you do, that's when the tangles occur. So if you can't um, to practice, just try side swinging. Get used to it. Get used to it, get used to it, you see? Also, with side swinging, it's also a perfect tool to practice if you're jumping and um, you get tired and you don't wanna jump anymore. You can just stop jumping and you can step, step, step to the side, move and swing your rope. So with that, you're still moving and you get time to catch your breath and then you can continue jumping. What I would suggest is you jump for a little while, and if you do have to stop, stop for 30 seconds. Stop for 30 seconds, and then you resume your jumping. And if you have to stop again, 30 seconds, resume your jumping. So once again, for the side swing combo, get here. One, two, jump, 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 one, two, jump. One, two, jump. So that's the simple way. Once it's perfected, and you can speed it up, you can go here. One, two, jump. So, that's the SJs. Let me move my phone back to the other spot. So if anybody have questions, here I am. Feel free to ask me any questions. Whew. Yes, to jump rope, you must be very conditioned which is one thing that jump rope helps with. However, with me being four months pregnant, it's harder to jump. Well, not really to jump, but my conditioning is off because the baby takes up. You're welcome. Um, if you decide to try um, to do this technique, please try it and please mention me in your, on your Instagram or hashtag make it fun NYC, jump rope swag. Jump rope swag, I'll see. But now, that hashtag is coming so cluttered now. So make it fun NYC. You can definitely um, put it there because I'm like the only person that uses that hashtag and I'll see your video. So, do you have any questions? Any questions? Okay, so you can find me at um, www.makeitfunnyc Dot com and there you can learn a little of the history um, of what I do. I teach children, I teach adults, I perform, I choreograph, I do workshops, um, anything 
regarding jump rope. That's my love. Like I do other forms of workout. I lift weights. I do calisthenics. I do functional training. Um, I do all kinds of cardio. My favorite is jump rope because with jump rope, people are used to seeing it in the parks. People are used to seeing it in a boxing gym, but it's making a huge comeback in the fitness world just because 10 minutes of a jump rope workout is a 30 minute run on a treadmill or a jog on a treadmill at 6.5 miles an hour. So jump rope is definitely making a comeback because you can get a lot done in a little time. It works every area of your body. You can um, actually, um, I forgot the phrase that I'm trying to use, but anyway, you can step up your fat loss methods with a jump rope because not only does a jump rope help you to burn fat, it helps you to build muscle as well or to maintain the muscles that you already have because you're using every single part of your body, your shoulders, your triceps, your biceps, your thighs, well actually your quads, hamstrings, calves, ankles, abs, core, everything is what the jump rope is working. So if you haven't jump rope, you definitely want to make that a part of your workout. Um, several ways where you can make it a part of your workout is by taking, like say if you're lifting weights, for example, or doing like a functional training weight session. For every uh, set or every, like say you do a circuit. So you're doing push-ups, you're doing pull-ups, you're doing a plank, okay? So for every time, every three exercises or for every set, of those three exercises, you do 100 jumps. Then you go back and do your second set. Planks, push-ups, pull-ups, 100 jumps. Planks, pull-ups, push-ups, 100 jumps. So that's how you can incorporate jump rope into your weightlifting because the jump rope is actually seen as active rest. Also, um, if you're just doing a cardio day, like, which is what I did today, I kind of get a little bored. So what I do is I'll go from the treadmill to the jump rope to the treadmill to the jump rope. All of my workouts are fueled by music. So if you ever watch my videos on Instagram or Facebook or Tumblr or Twitter or YouTube or Periscope, all of my jump roping is rhythmic. So um, I'm always jumping to music. So on the treadmill, I may get on there and I'll walk to the rhythm of whatever I'm listening to and then if something triggers me to get off, I'll get off and go run and jump rope. So that's just kind of how I conduct my business when I'm doing cardio day. So jump rope is very versatile. You don't need to be in a gym to jump rope. You can always take your jump roping outside. I've taken my jump rope to concerts. I've jump rope any and everywhere. As long as there's music, I can jump rope because it never looks weird and um, I also get everyone involved. So even if you look here, excuse me. I have like single ropes, I have a double dutch rope, I have a straight long single rope. So I carry these basically almost everywhere I go because you just never know where the opportunity may arise. I love what I do. So um, like I said, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I have these jump ropes available at www.makeitfunnyc.com. If you would like a rope, you can purchase directly from the site and I'll mail it to you out by tomorrow morning. Um, if you've missed my previous scopes on how to jump rope, footwork, double unders and crossovers, you can find those at my YouTube channel at B-E-R-N April 20, Burn April 20. If you're on um, social media, be sure to fo follow me. You can always find me at Make It Fun NYC or Burn April 20. If you YouTube me or, or, or Google me, Bernadette Robinson or Bernadette Jump Rope, you'll always find me. So there's always ways to find me, reach out, get in contact with me. I'm always around. Um, before I close out, does anybody have any questions in regards to Jump Rope? Okay, so um, right now, like I said, I'm four months pregnant, 15 weeks. Um, so I don't know how my pregnancy is gonna progress by next week, well, hopefully if I'm here or around next week, um, my next uh, tutorial will be on side swing combo, which is kind of a fairly easy tutorial. I kind of wanted to get the um, bumpity, bumpity, bumpity stuff out of the way because I know in the next couple of weeks my baby's gonna be growing faster, so I have to um, get the double unders and, and like kind of like the SJs that I just did out of the way because those are kind of very intense. And as the weeks go by, I'm going to kind of modify my jump rope workouts. But I did want to get those things out the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to, if you um, practice any of the techniques that you've seen here, or if you've watched on my, per on my past periscopes, um, and you want to try it out, definitely try it out. Post a video to Instagram and use the hashtag MakeItFunNYC. You can also use jump rope swag. However, since I started that hashtag, like everyone posts there. Make It Fun NYC is unique to me. No one else uses it. So if you post your video there, I'll definitely see it. I'll definitely repost it because I love 
and it shows me that these uh, tutorials are not going in vain. So somebody's watching and someone's trying to um, 